A handheld microphone many times is not the solution for your audio needs that you're looking for. Many times what you're looking for is an on-camera mic. It's portable and frees up your hands. Today, we're gonna look at three budget-friendly on-camera mics. The Sennheiser MKE 200, the Comica CVM VM102, and the Movo VXR10 Pro. Before we continue, please consider subscribing to this channel as it really does help it grow and it's very appreciated. Now back to our program. The Sennheiser MKE 200 has a super cardioid pickup pattern. It has a maximum sound pressure level of 120 decibels. Its frequency response is from 40 to 20,000 hertz. The Movo VXR10 Pro has a super cardioid polar pattern with a frequency response from 20 hertz up to 18 kilohertz or 18,000 hertz. The Comica CVM VM102 has a cardioid polar pattern with a frequency range of 60 hertz to 20 kilohertz with a maximum sound and pressure level of 105 decibels. I will put links to all three of these microphones in the description below. I'm gonna test these out in a room that has very little sound treatment done to it. Let's go ahead and start the tests. And now we're testing the Sennheiser MKE 200. Again, this is on top of my camera, which is approximately one meter away. I'd like to see how this picks up the room noise in here because this room really isn't treated. So let's see how this goes. This is a test of the Comica CVM VM102. Boy, these names. Whew. This is how this mic sounds when it's mounted on my camera, which is approximately one meter away from me. Now this Comica mic does come in a nice case. It's got a dead cat as well as the regular windscreen. And I believe it was only around $39, but I'll put the, the link to the most recent pricing down below in the description. And now this is a test of the Movo VX10 Pro. Again, I've got it mounted on my camera approximately one meter in front of me. The room I'm in is not treated, so I want to see how this microphone reacts to that. Again, this is the Movo VXR10 Pro. There you have it. I think all three do definitely sound a little bit different. I think the Sennheiser is a little brighter. I found that the Comica was the deepest of the three, and the Movo was just a little in between. So let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you found some value in this, please give this a like and a share, and please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thanks.